Hello happy homemakers! So today's video is going to be a grocery haul from Trader Joe's and Imperfect Produce and I'm going to walk you through my mini planning for the week as well. This video goes along with my May in Season Produce video which I'll have linked down below if you guys have not actually seen that. Um, I share tips and tricks on picking vegetables that are in season and freshest and the best price so make sure you head over to that and watch that one as well. Really quick before I dive into the grocery haul I wanted to tell you guys about an app called Ibotta and if you guys don't have this app you are losing money. I've been on Ibotta for a little bit over two years and I have gotten so much money back just by saving my receipts and scanning them in. Um, basically it's a reverse couponing app. They have stores like Target, Trader Joe's, Costco on there and all you do is save your receipt after you buy what you would normally buy. Go into the app, see if there's anything that you have purchased that there is a coupon for and you will get anywhere from like 25 cents to a dollar back depending on what it is. Once you accumulate $20 you can either trade it in for a gift card to Amazon or Starbucks or there's a lot of different options for that or you can have it sent straight to PayPal and it's just an awesome way to get a little bit of money back and make your budget go a little bit further. I bought it is just an incredible app. It really is. If you guys want to try it out, I'll have that link down below. For anyone who is a new customer, they will give you $10 by using that link and I'll get five. So it's a win-win situation for everyone. So make sure you guys check out that app and download it to your phone because I have saved so much money just by using that. So I will have that all linked down below as well as a little more information you guys will need. But now let's just get into this haul. So this is my meal plan for this week. I just have breakfast, lunch, and dinner ideas for every day. On Monday, I'm going to be doing spaghetti squash spaghetti and salad and then coconut lime chicken on Tuesday. Wednesday I'm going to be doing, well I'm doing this Thursday because we're having company over. So I'm doing Swedish meatballs with mashed potatoes and peas because Daniel really really loved that. I actually still need to go to Costco. I didn't get ground beef today but with 202 I like to just do one trip uh, at one time because they just get tired if I take too long. Um, on Thursday we already had the chili and cornbread so I might have to just kind of figure out something else for this night. Um, Friday is date night, Marcus will have leftovers. And on Saturday I'm really excited because I'm doing the chicken and asparagus cheese bake which is a vintage recipe from the vintage cookbook. I'm thinking maybe if you guys think it's a good idea I'll do a vintage inspired cook with me and all day I'll do vintage recipes which would be kind of fun. Um, and then on Sunday I'm going to do spinach cream sauce with sweet potato gnocchi, which I saw a recipe for. But I did buy gnocchi just in case I don't feel like making it. And I have a couple of the recipes from the in-season videos um, for the for um, as far as fruits go. Raspberries are in-season, so I definitely got some of those. Also, um, here's my shopping list that I ripped off the side. I love how this is perforated or is it perforated or perforated? I don't know. Anyways, Marcus ripped my list in half. But um, a lot of you guys ask me where I got this menu planner pad, which I love. My mom got it for me from Anthropology, but I have since found them on Amazon. So I will link it down below on Amazon. Um, there's also a blue one like this that I think is really cute. I might get that one next because I really love just being able to like plot out everything and write the ingredients on this side. Um, today I have a Trader Joe's shopping haul and also a box from Imperfect Produce. This is a weekly box that comes to my doorstep. And what I really love about it is that everything in this box is stuff that the grocery stores have rejected and it's still good produce it's just maybe shaped funny or too big or too small and so imperfect produce boxes it up and delivers it to me and I really like the subscription so far they deliver in my area every Friday and I believe this is something that's just along the west coast for now um, so definitely I will have their website linked down below so you guys can see if they have it in your area so I'm just gonna empty this box first and first I have a little spaghetti squash I think this was like a dollar something I can't remember maybe two dollars um, but it's just an organic spaghetti squash I have one for my box last week which I didn't get a chance to show you guys because I was really busy so I did do it on my Instagram stories I did a little unboxing so I'll link that down below if you guys want to follow me there and then I have two onions which are huge um, but that's okay I'm okay with huge onions and those were 79 cents a pound which is really good I have lots of potatoes in here that were 65 cents a pound so I think I got three or four pounds 
And yeah, some of them are really tiny and some of them are really big, but that's okay because we'll use them. And these are new potatoes. New potatoes are a little bit more expensive than russets, but these are like a russet potato price. So there are all my potatoes. And then I got five lemons, which are just a little on the small side, but they were $1.59 for all five. And everything in this box I picked myself. You can customize your, your box every week. So I also got five, no, it looks like six gala apples, which were $1.45 for three. And then I got about a pound of carrots, um, which were 80 cents a pound. And for organic carrots, that's a really good price. I also got nine avocados, uh, because the avocados were like $1.89 for three, which is amazing. And um, I actually like my avocados to be a little bit smaller because then I use them up before they turn brown. Um, so I really do like that. Okay, and I also got some ginger, which is organic ginger. I can't remember how much it was, but it was a really good price. And then I got two organic cucumbers, which I also don't know the price of. And then on top of everything, there was just one bunch of cilantro. And like I said, this entire box was $25 and for organic produce. That's a really good price. And the $5 delivery charge is not that much. So I'm trying this out for a month, but I think that I'm good. This is my second box and I think I'm gonna continue getting it because it's a good price and I like having it delivered to my door so I don't have to go grocery shopping. It really cuts down on the time I spend in the grocery store, especially with my two babies under two. Just the less time I can spend in there, the better. So I'm gonna move this out of the way and show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's. So the first thing we got are some dog bones for pup and I actually started emptying this and putting it away before I remembered that I needed to film a video today. So this is opened but pup doesn't seem to like it and these are peanut butter flavor. I thought all dogs really love peanut butter but I guess our dog doesn't. Um, I also got some peanut butter panda puffs. Um, we, Daniel likes things that are peanut butter but also I thought Marcus would like these um, and they're organic as well and they're like $2.99 at Trader Joe's. I also got two organic white shells and cheddar. I love white macaroni. I haven't tried Trader Joe's brand yet, but I think it'll be good. I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Um, these are organic apple mango fruit crushers that Marcus loves for snack time. I got some organic tricolor quinoa to do Daniel's meal prep. I got some butter just because every now and then we need butter. Baby spring mix, mix to go with um, Daniel's meal prep lunches, but also for dinner sometime. Um, blueberries, organic blueberries were on sale. Um, corn for the meal prep. I'm going to make a Southwest salad bowl out of that. I got some homestyle mild salsa to go with the um, Cafe Rio pork salads I'm going to make. And then snow peas are for the coconut lime chicken, Thai coconut lime chicken, um, which also I got two of their Thai green curry simmer sauce. It's so good. Let me know if you guys want to see me feature the coconut lime chicken recipe in the cook with me video this week because um, I like to have your guys' input. So let me know which of all the recipes I mentioned that you want to see. Also for the curry is the shiitake mushrooms. And this is one of my favorite dishes. I really love it. Um, we like to get lots of berries in this house. I love getting berries, so I find if I get the Costco size, some of them always go bad. I always lose the last of them, but this week I'm determined to eat everything. I also got one red onion for the coconut curry, some gnocchi for the spinach gnocchi cream sauce, some tomato basil marinara, uh, why did I get that? Oh, to go with the spaghetti squash spaghetti. And again, I think last time I told you guys I got the minced garlic. I like having this because it's just in water and I think ascorbic acid, citric acid. Um, so it's really, there's no bad ingredients in it and it's already chopped up and I tend to add this garlic to almost everything now because uh, I don't really like chopping up garlic at all. I got some spaghetti just to have on hand um, for emergencies or if I don't like, feel like cooking. Uh, another thing I like to have on hand are these shelf stable whipping cream from Trader Joe's. This is genius and they're amazing to just have in your pantry whenever you need a little bit of cream. Um, also for Daniel's meal prep, I'm gonna try to make some sort of like tuna wrap or maybe a chicken wrap. So I got some organic whole wheat wraps for that. 
Um, for his lunch today, because I didn't end up cooking last night, um, I grabbed a super spinach salad and he's going to come and eat that today. Um, their salads are really nice. I think this one was like $3.50 and they're really healthy. It even has some quinoa at the bottom. I got two packages of their all natural chicken. It's not organic because that's just really expensive. Um, I got frozen asparagus, even though asparagus is in season right now. Um, the fresh stuff just didn't look as good. If, if you remember in my in season video, we talked about what to look for in asparagus. And what they had at the store just like didn't meet the criteria. Uh, the stalks were just really thick and wooden looking. So I didn't get that. I got this frozen asparagus instead. Since I'm just going to chop it up and throw it in the chicken bake, I thought this would be okay. The last couple things I got were black beans for Daniel's meal prep, doing some Southwest chicken wraps and Southwest salads and stuff. Um, and then some organic coconut oil, which I forgot I bought this last week, and so now I have two. But oh well, I always end up using coconut oil. I like to put this all over Chloe. I like to cook with it. So many uses for coconut oil. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you liked. I, I feel like every time I do one of these videos, I'm switching up how I film them. So this time, I'm like talking to you guys and putting the food out in front of me. So let me know if you like this method best, and I'll continue going with it. But anyways, hope you guys are all having a great day. I'll have the in-season for May video linked down below again if you guys want to watch it. And also, keep your eyes... I have a hair on my lip, and it's bugging me. And also keep your eyes open for the cook with me video I will be doing next week. Hurry up and let me know which recipe you want because I'm going to be planning it. And until then, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I'll see you later. Bye guys.